Okay guys, we're in the new garage today and I want to show you guys some stuff. I got my banner hung up. Yeah, haha. <laughs> Thing right here, and this is an old radio. I don't know if it's from the 60s or 70s or what. But, these doors right here are actually the speakers. And it has an old cast iron turntable. I don't even know if that even works anymore. It still has the needle on it. And this thing actually does get pretty loud. Uh, let me show you. It's kind of it's kind of a cool little thing too. Put the camera down so you guys can see this. It doesn't have volume; it has loudness. See that? That's Tom Petty. But the cool thing is. Here, let's find some static. There, okay, now this is static. Now watch this. The positive and the negative are in the hinges. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And it has a uh, plug-in on the bottom for RCA. You guys can see that or not. So I could plug in some RCA plug-ins to it. And then hang these someplace else in the shop. And they would plug into the back. But the wires in the back are in pretty rough shape. So I don't really deal with that. keep it around because the speakers still work and show you the back here if you guys can see it see look at that that's kind of a mess I'm gonna have to take my uh, air nozzle to all that blow out all that dust and everything in there but I saw that at a rummage sale and I thought, you know, I wonder if that, th that thing even works. We brought it over and we plugged it in. And it gets really loud. The, the one thing that it does is that it's, it's got a lot of bass to it. It doesn't have very much trouble. And um, I think, you know, once I pull the thing, you know, take it apart a little bit and clean it out. You know, make the connections, you know, clean all the connections and stuff like that off of it. I'm sure it'll probably work a little better. And it's got tubes in it. It's got some tubes, it's got some solid state. It's kind of neat. Now the plans so far is to take that shelving and move it over onto the other side of the shop, on the other side of the garage and put it there. And then this area of the garage is gonna be all our, uh, you know, regular stuff like our lawnmower and, you know, shovels and stuff like that. And I'm, I'd like to, separate this but the problem is is all that and I don't want to be crawling up there with boards and trying to close all that off and that's you know and I can't really go straight across because then it interferes with the garage door so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do here something else I come to realize that this shop doesn't have 220 it's got this box here, but everything, everything is 110, 
with 20 amp fuses. Yeah. So, you have to figure out a way to get some 220 out here. Well, I mean, I'm sure I could wire up a 220 off to that. But I don't know. Yeah, they're all uh they're all 20 amp fuses. There ain't no 220 in here. Uh, the guy did leave this uh, refrigerator. So we got a refrigerator out here. And he left this pellet stove. And uh, it looks like there's, he left this drawer. And it looks like it goes into a toolbox. And then there's this. I'm not too sure. I think that's part of the pellet stove somehow. But now, you know, it's pretty dang near full. That's how it starts right there. It's already hooked up to go outside. And there's just a port on the outside of the building. Yeah, it's already started moving some stuff in here. Okay, guys, now I'm going to take the motorcycle out for a spin. I'm going to have an alley record. So, uh, yeah, here we go.